Hello everyone, welcome to the Pates Fishing Channel. Today we're gonna be reviewing our $3,000 Cabela's haul that we went on earlier today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified when our next video is. So, so. Uh, keep on watching. All right, so the first thing that we got, it wasn't really fishing related. It was a Cabela's hat. Um, I just thought this was very good looking and yeah. The second thing we got is this um, hand knitted 25 pound trout caught directly from the Appalachian Mountains. So now we're gonna move on to the the hard bait section. So the first bait that we'll be reviewing is the Guggen Banger with the square bill crankbait, the orange bottom, and the red top with the sparkles and the gold stripes. All right, so the next one, I don't know what brand it is, but this is another lift crankbait with the orange bottom it's pretty big so it will catch some big fish if we throw it out there the third bait that we're reviewing is the dark green rapala lift crankbait with a bit of orange at the front and it is mostly dark green all right so this one is basically the one i just showed but smaller with the orange belly and it is also lift. The fifth one that we will be showing is this short fat one with a silver top and sparkles and a white bottom. All right, so the next one is a chartreuse lift crankbait with a blue top on it. It's pretty small, but still can catch some fish. Um, the next one is a jerk bait with a red head and a chartreuse top and a silver side. The next one is a, another lift crankbait with the black top, red base, and a orange belly. That's what it looks like. The next one is another lift crankbait with a yellow bottom and an orange top with some gray dots on it. This. Now this one has a pretty big lip as you can see. It's a reddish color with black accents. And the next one I have is a very small jerk bait with a black top, partly a blue side, mostly silver with some black spots on it. This one is a lift crankbait, white all over with some gray, red, and black accents too. Here is a Rapala crankbait, non-lipped with one black dot on the side, mostly silver, with a bit of orange on the bottom. It is. Now this one is kind of like the last one I showed with a gray top and some yellow accents as well with a lip on it too. This one is a very different crankbait with mostly a white body, but it also has a red lip and one hook. Um, so the next crankbait that we have is a smaller square bill crankbait with a orange underbelly and white and gold sides and a black top. Now the next one is a whiter one with a lip, a blue top, and also a white underbelly with some orange. Now this is another lip jerk bait with a green top and white bottom. So we also got a couple frogs to add to our tackle. So this first one is a Booyah green frog. It's pretty classic with two um, tails coming out of it 
and the hooks in the back as well. So the second one is also a Booyah Frog. It is more brown though, with two darker tails and a yellow body or bottom. And it has arms coming out the side. So the, the next frog is also a Booyah Frog with a dark side and light specks on the top and a light to dark orange on the bottom and a white and green bottom. Now this one is another Booyah Frog with blue and white tails, uh, a red mouth portion that's flat, uh, chartreuse middle with kind of a brown and gray color on top and a red color on the bottom. This next one is a very realistic color scheme. It has a dark brown top with a sort of chartreuse side and a white bottom with one single brown tail. Uh, now we're gonna move on to the next smaller category, the jitterbug category. We only have a couple, but we still bought some. So this is a jitterbug. It's quite big with a lip, green top, which is speckled and white with some red on the bottom. So this next one is a bit smaller with a big bill, um, some brown around the eyes, a brown top with white specks, um, a bit of yellow on the bottom. So now we're gonna move on to all of the soft plastics that we got. The first one is a Guggenbait. It's a five inch worm package that is a June bug color. This is what it looks like. The second one is also um, a Guggenbait. It is the Rattlin Ned. It is supposed to represent a California craw, and when you shake them, they make noise. Um, now this one, just like the last one I showed, is a five inch worm, but this time it's in the colorway green pumpkin blue. This is what it looks like. Pretty similar to the last one. Um, the next one is the Kraken craw. It's supposed to represent an Alabama craw and it has a little bit of orange on the bottom and is mostly black around the side. Now the last of the Duke and Bates is this slimmer worm and this is in natural color colorway. Um, it's just green and kind of silvery. This is a different brand of worm, Jack All. It is mostly purple and has some turquoise specks in it. It is also supposed to represent a June bug. Now these are some Yum Dinger worms, also supposed to represent a June bug, as you can see. Um, these are some Power Bait Power Worms. They have mostly a blue body with specks on them. And then at the end, they have a very vibrant pink tail that spins. And this one is a Lunker Hunt uh, Bento Bait. It looks like that. The next soft plastic um, bait that we got was a Bass Pro Shop uh, Crappie Jig, meant to look like a grub. That's what it looks like. And the next one is another Yum Dinger. And it's mostly brown, but with a hint of um, Sartreuse at the end to just give it that extra little pop. The last of the soft plastics is the Big Bite Baits. These are white with light green and have black specks on them. So we have one spinner bait. It was the best deal that was there and they only had one left. And this is mostly chartreuse and it has a big spinner on the front. And it has red eyes with a little bit of pink on the bottom. So now we're gonna show all of the rooster tails that we got. The first one being a super rooster tail. This one is white, pink, and green, as you can see. The second one is a super rooster tail with a chartreuse tail. And on the body, it has black and chartreuse. 
Wait, and it's also a super rooster tail. So this next one is just a regular rooster tail. It is gold, black, and orange, as you can see. This next one is a normal rooster tail. And on the spinner, it is very colorful. And the body is pink, light blue, and white, and the tail is white. Now this one, the body is yellow, white, and brown, and the tail is kind of black with some yellow as well in it. Um, this next one, it has a brown body with a gold spinner, and it has a little hint of brown on the body, and the tail is brown and yellow. This one is very green with a light green and dark green body and a dark green tail. This next one is black and white and the spinner matches the body. They're both black and white, half and half. And the tail is also black. Now this one has many different colors, including dark green, chartreuse, and orange. And that's what it looks like. This next one is a lot smaller than all the other ones. It's a very classic color, the sparkly white and the spinner matches the body and the tail is solid white. Now this one is a mix between yellow, orange, and dark green, and it's supposed to represent a dying frog. That's what it looks like. These next ones are starting to get a lot bigger than the ones before. It's a very vibrant yellow with a shiny yellow spinner. Now this one that we bought, it has a silver spinner with silver and black body with a completely black tail. Um, this one has a lot of, wait, wait, this one has a lot of different colors in it. It has dark green, orange, and chartreuse with a chartreuse tail. And the spinner is gold and it has black spots on the different colors. Now this is one of my favorite types of rooster tails with the gold spinner, pink, white, and dark green body, and pink and dark green tail. This one has a lot of different mixtures of chartreuse in it. It has mostly chartreuse on it, but it has black through the sides and the tail is also chartreuse with a gold spinner. Now the last rooster tail that we purchased is a white, black, and um, pink one. You can't really see it, but there's pink on the spinner and the rest of it is mostly white with some black accents. This tackle box, um, it has a front and back compartment, so you can see this one I just filled up with my, my crankbaits that I will use while um, just going on a small fishing trip. It carries many lures that you could use. As you can see, there's more in the back as well. That yeah, you can use all of these as well. The next one is a little bigger, it is the same brand, and you could use these side compartments to put your gear that you need in the side, or maybe some small lures. And then on the inside, it has a lot of compartments for the lures you might need for a medium-sized bass fishing trip, and then in the bottom, you could store a lot of the stuff you need, like a scale, maybe your unopened face <laughs> and that's pretty much it so now we're just gonna show some miscellaneous stuff that we got uh the first one being these trout bugs that kind of look like ants trout usually bite onto these and you can catch some big ones with them uh next thing is also a trout bug it is a imitation grasshopper this one is a little bigger so trout might bigger ones might bite onto this now to go on my new fishing pole, which I will show in a few minutes, I got a, I got the Shren original uh, monofilament line. It's 12 pounds and I thought this would do the job for everyday fishing. Uh, the next thing is a scale. It has a lot of tools on it. This comes out 
has this that can clip onto the back. It also has a tape measure to measure how long your fish is. And you just press this button to retract it in. Um, I thought I also needed a new scale, so I got one as well. Um, not as good as his, but it also comes with a uh, tape measure as well. This next tool is just in case maybe the fish swallowed the hook or it's deep down in its mouth. You could put this in and then push it like that and it helps get the hook out of the fish's mouth without harming it. Now these I thought were a necessity while um, using fake worms. These are bullet weights. Uh, they're very good. Just put them on your line. And that's why I bought them. I also bought some new line for my new fishing pole that I will also show in a few minutes. It is 10 pound test and it is more of a yellowish orange to match with a lot of the features on my new fishing pole. And these are real grips. Well, we saw them while walking past and we thought we should try them out. We will show them on our new fishing poles and we thought that they would help us well, um, reeling in fish. Now the next item in the miscellaneous category is this White River um, fishing vest. It has many compartments on the inside as well and also on the back. And actually this is a very convenient um, fly fishing um, section where you could keep all your flies in. Um, Next thing we got in the miscellaneous section are these uh, Mount Talk waders. They're very nice, very comfortable on the inside. And they keep the cold out and they keep your legs warm the whole time while you're enjoying your fly fishing in the river. And also part of the miscellaneous category, we got a Rapala fillet knife. Looks like that, it's pretty sharp and it will be good when we want to cook up some fish. All right, so our next category is the fishing poles that we actually bought. Um, so the first one is this Jawbone Baitcaster with a blue rod and the ba actual Baitcaster reel it has a silver inside and a blue outside. It's a very nice investment. Now the next one is a Abu Garcia Revo X rod and reel combo. I think it is around seven feet and it will be very nice um, in freshwater fishing. The next one is also a Abu Garcia rod and reel combo with some yellow hints to it and the yellow line that we showed earlier and a nice real grip. It is also about seven feet long. Now this is a ocean fishing rod that we thought we would purchase that we could use during the summertime. Um, it is around maybe six feet tall. It's very heavy and we already lined it up with some heavy line. <laughs> now the next um, pull that we got was an ugly stick rod and reel already lined up for freshwater fishing. Yeah. Um, the next one, the next one is this master brand ice fishing rod and reel combo. We already have it lined up so we can soon to be ice fishing and it is shiny green. Yeah. Now this is a Zebco slingshot fishing rod. It's pretty cheap and we could just use this at our local pond. Just fling it out there and we thought it would be a good purchase. So this next rod and reel combo is a Fluger. It has some nice wood for the handle and it has a hint of gold in the silver reel. So this is um, one of its own category. We got that Old Town Kayak 
that we've already winterized for the spring so we could take it out when the spring comes with a fishing kayak with a anchor and lots of fishing slots and we're thinking about maybe our next purchase from Cabela's could be a motor or pedals for it. All right, so just because this is our first video, we wanted to see how many likes you guys could hit. So if you guys hit 5,000 likes on this first video, we will be giving away this $25 Cabela's gift card for you guys to win. We will give it out to a random um, person who comments down in the video and also who has subscribed and liked the video. So make sure you do that. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to um, have a chance to win the $25 Cabela's gift card that you could use to buy some of the words that we bought. I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and have a good day. See you guys in the next one.